195 is a grassroots movement on a mission to prevent violent extremism, up 61% from 2013. Over 17,000 people were killed in extremist attacks in 2014 alone, with no signs of slowing down. You may not know the term violent extremism, but you've seen the impact. Destroying landmarks, abusing social media, recruiting children, and taking thousands of innocent lives. 195 is a digital platform for starting initiatives and receiving support collaborating and learning from each other, and connecting across cultures to unite our voices and rise above violent extremism. From the dinner tables of South Korea to the land down under, amidst the London traffic and across the pond in a city that never sleeps, we all have a stake in moving forward. It starts with one person, one community, 195 countries, and one goal end violent extremism. Good morning. We are the Missouri State University ad team and we are 195. I'm Lene. I'm Brittany. And I'm Addison. We are excited to share with you today our 15-week journey that led to the creation of the 195 brand. Our target market is split into three segments, Millennials, Generation Z, and their teachers. With over 2.5 billion Millennials in the world, they make up a third of the world's population. This year, Millennials will be the largest generation. They are also the most educated generation. They want to share everyday moments with the world and like information fast and mobile. As a result, 81% of activities involve technology. Out of 473 baseline responses, 50% said military force and education were the best ways to prevent recruitment by violent extremists. Notably, we saw a difference in opinions between U.S. and international millennials. International students see a need for solutions that bring people together. U.S. students tend to be more desensitized and somewhat removed from the topic. With international millennials living with the issue daily and U.S. millennials tuned out, we had to ask, should we focus on more moldable minds that led us to Generation Z. Over two billion strong, Generation Z is made up of individuals born after 1996 and is the most diverse generation yet. They're future-focused, self-starters, and active across multiple social media platforms. They're young enough to be impressionable, but old enough to take, make, take the topic seriously, making them the perfect target market. When discussing violent extremism, the best way to reach Generation Z is through their teachers. With over 10.5 million worldwide, every teacher affects over 3,000 students throughout their career. Online resources are key to educating the classroom on a daily basis. And Gen Z curriculum is much more adaptable to this issue and our message. Welcome to our live website, 195.org. Driven by research, it was created with each of our three target market segments in mind. 195 is an educational, sustainable platform that will change the way we counter violent extremism. All components of the site are housed within 195.org. A continuous parallax scroll, 195.org was developed around our three pillars, educate, empower, and connect. Our goal is to educate people about violent extremism, empower them to take action to stop it, and connect people across the world to speak out in a unified voice. Moving away from the traditional About Us section, we created We Are 195, a shareable video accessible via YouTube that caters to the digital minds of our target market. Website users can share content from 195.org by using the social media buttons present on the site. Extremism on a global scale shows the spread and variety of extremist groups in an interactive map. As users mouse over the map, facts pop up in the region where these groups originated. Rising Above features three original videos. Shot using a documentary feel, each video presents the story of individuals who have been affected by violent extremism. Ajo Khan, a graduate student at Missouri State, shares how his home city of Swat Valley, Pakistan has been impacted by violent extremism, specifically the Taliban. He explains the importance of open dialogue and community initiatives. 
Miranda ran in the 2013 Boston Marathon. She relives the day of the bombing and how it has impacted her life since. Based on his professional experience and academic study, Dr. McCarthy explains why educating and empowering young students is key to preventing violent extremism. In the live social media feed, anytime our hashtag #EndViolentExtremism is used, it creates a visual collage chocked full of Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter posts. Showcasing and driving support to grassroots, community-focused initiatives is an integral part of 195. Initiatives are categorized into five different groups. Empowerment and support, education, basic needs, human rights, and dialogue. The Digital Hub brings together the best research and organizations from around the world in one accessible place. When clicked, each image is a direct link to the associated organization's website. Next up, World Trivia. This is where users can test their knowledge and invite friends to join. It's a race to the leaderboard, as Oliver, the 195 mascot, cheers players on. Savvy online gamers will appreciate the ability to share and brag about their superior knowledge simply by clicking on their favorite social media buttons. The Education Hub is key for educators looking for Common Core lesson packets that are ready for the classroom. In just one click, each lesson is easily accessible as a printable PDF. Classroom posters that reinforce the lesson packets and bring Oliver into the classroom are housed right alongside the curriculum. In addition, we created a kickoff video for the 195 curriculum. Relatable facts with upbeat music and kinetic type will have Gen Z students engaged from start to finish. Returning to the top, three additional links bring 195 full circle. Users have the option to sign in. Website admins can send email newsletters and access user demographics based on the information they provide when signing up. The Ambassador tab provides information about how 195 can be taken to an ambassador's home country and implemented or adapted to better relate to their specific community. The toolkit gives users a social media 411 and equips them with all the tools necessary to extend their reach on social media. Some of the best feedback we received was from Khan's video. Personifying the impact of violent extremism helped people understand that war is not the only option. Where I come from is a beautiful valley. We call it the Switzerland of Pakistan. There's a big river, lush green mountains, uh, forests. Life back home is pretty much similar like over here. You get up, go to school, take your classes. After you come back, you play your sports in the afternoon, do your homework, go watch movies, listen to music. Probably like everything else is the same as it is over here. In late 2007, the Afghanistan just crawled into our valley all the, the terrorists, Al-Qaeda, Taliban, they just came over and eventually like they took over the valley. They ruled it for two years, they had their own law. There was no police, no courts, nothing. And all the girls' uh, schools were closed down. Guys like were told to wear the traditional clothes, not pants or like Western clothes. All the music shops were closed down. I used to see a lot of hangings. They used to like hang people who would defy them in public squares. They would wake up the next morning and see somebody hanged over there with a, with a letter. Why did they did that? And after two years, eventually our army moved into the valley and we had to leave. Whenever there was a suicide attack, you could hear the blast and then you would hear the, the, the firing and the, the ambulance sirens and you could see like one day I saw at least 20 burnt bodies being carried away just the fear like the fear of they could just come and take you or take away someone you knew or someone someone from your family so life was kind of like hampered in a way that we felt we were going back rather than moving forward they told us this one brand is correct and if you don't follow this one brand we're teaching then then get ready for the consequences the thing is there is so much, there has been so much violent extremism that we have become numb to it. But this thing was like very emotional for everyone. The terrorists attacking a school where 
they, they killed at least 143 kids along with 10 teachers so it just shook the nation and everybody decided that, that that's it that's the end like we're not gonna go about how things are being done so at the end of the day we had hope the guys started wearing more traditional Islamic clothes to schools and we sort of settled down hoping that one day things will get back to normal and eventually they did we we passed that tough time together I think when we communicate when there's an exchange people going uh, from the US to Pakistan and coming from Pakistan I think that's how we're going to solve To launch 195, we held a Tweetathon event on MSU's campus on April 15th, the second anniversary of the Boston bombings and Holocaust Remembrance Day. Our goal was to drive social media traffic, explain the importance of preventing violent extremism, and create positive dialogue. Ransom Eternal, one of our featured initiatives, partnered with us on the day of the event. Tweetathon promotions included chalking, digital displays, a live countdown on the 195.org landing page, social media outreach, and a radio interview with a popular station amongst our target market. On the day of the event, we made over 39,400 impressions and over 2,000 tweets contained our hashtag in violent extremism. We also gained support from over 2,590 campus and community leaders. At the heart of 195 is our education program. Our strategy is to intervene with education, messaging, and branding to reach students before they're at risk. Our turnkey program is aligned with Common Core standards. How did we reach these teachers? We created three distribution channels, 195.org, Pinterest, and Fedora. Pinterest allows teachers to search and pin their favorite educational resources. With over 500,000 education-related pins daily, busy educators use Pinterest to collaborate. Fedora is an online public host for lesson plans, used by over 5,000 teachers and entrepreneurs. Teachers can enroll for free to view our full lesson plans, supplemental materials, and videos. Their students can take the quizzes online and their scores will be automatically generated. Lesson 1 contains Violent Extremism 101 and What is ISIS? And in Lesson 2, Making Change, students create their own initiatives to prevent violent extremism. At our launch at Allen Village, students developed ideas to help those controlled by ISIS empower Generation Z, and stop child trafficking. And in Lesson 3, students learn the importance of social media safety and how it relates to their personal accounts. After completing all three lesson plans, students have the opportunity to video chat with their paired international school. After launching at the American Nicaraguan School in Managua, Nicaragua, in Allen Village in Kansas City, Missouri, we brought the international exchange to life by moderating a Google Hangout between the two schools. Students shared what they learned in the lesson plans and the initiatives they created. There was even time to ask cultural questions about where they live and what they like to eat. Watch as we walk you through our 195 education launch. The morning of April 1st, we launched our carefully crafted 195 curriculum. We were ushered in by warm smiles, good mornings, and plenty of anticipation from the 120 students who would test our educational program. The week before our launch, we placed Oliver, the 195 mascot, flying over the halls of Allen Village School in Kansas City, Missouri, capturing the students' interest and curiosity. He and our educational posters set the school abuzz for our arrival. During the launch, we discussed the concept of violent extremism and gave the students a compelling reason to counter it. We introduced Ajo Khan and his story through a video to show our students just how real violent extremism is. As an international Missouri State student, all the way from Swat Valley, Pakistan, Khan had a different perspective that we were excited to offer through 195. His firsthand account brought the concept of violent extremism closer to home for our students and helped them comprehend just how important it is to take a stand. After the video, our students were thrilled to find out they would not only be creating their very own initiatives, but they would be presenting their ideas to Khan and other students from Saudi Arabia and Tunisia who were anxiously awaiting our Skype session. 
One goal of our visit was to help students realize they could inspire change through their own actions. Students broke out into teams, debated which causes were most worthy of their support, and carefully constructed their final messages. When the time came for the virtual exchange, we were blown away by the ingenuity and passion each group showed for their cause. They didn't just stop at the idea, they got creative with names, logos, and even hashtags. Team 195 wasn't the only one impressed. Our international students and other guests were left speechless by the stunning presentations. Each group was eager for feedback from their new international friends and walked away realizing the importance of global dialogue in solving a global problem. After a day of learning, we finally gave them a chance to put their knowledge to the test through our interactive world trivia game. Oliver cheered them on as they raced to beat the timer as well as their friends. And Oliver wasn't the only guest of honor. A state legislator and a city council candidate both came to see what 195 was all about. A Kansas City police officer joined us to speak about preventing violence and the importance of trust between a community and its law enforcement. The incredibly supportive administration, faculty, and staff helped us create an amazing, impactful experience the day of and helped us prepare and improve our lessons leading up. Uh, the way that you guys kind of zeroed in on the idea of extremism, I think really made them make some connections that they haven't got to make quite yet. Made them actually start thinking about their own use of social media and how that actually plays into global events. So they really had some interesting conversations today after going through it. Anything that gets them to look at their city as one city in a global community, we really find helps. And so any little connections we can make on that, we appreciate. The ultimate solution to violent extremism won't be easy, but with over 2 billion bright Gen Zs up for the challenge, violent extremism doesn't stand a chance. One hundred and thirty students participated in our education launch. Seventy-nine percent shared the information with their parents afterwards. Parent responses were positive and curious. And to ensure the future success of 195, Larry McIlvang, a superintendent in Amman, Jordan, passed our curriculum on within his district. And we submitted the curriculum for review by the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. The Student Activities Council at Missouri State also agreed to support 195 for years to come by moderating, or excuse me, by hosting a 195 education conference on campus. Our total impressions reached over 189,000, including 82 countries and three territories. Video views reached 8,000 and PR impressions over 100,000. Through university services and team member connections, we generated $3,000 in added value, creating $5,000 to execute our project. Each impression ended up costing less than one cent. We developed and implemented 195 and proved it to be an educational program backed by international exchange, that works. Educators, administrators, and parents welcomed it. Gen Z embraced it. It's time for you to take 195 to all 195 countries and the next generation, the generation of change.
have any questions.